Uh, in fact, education is one of the most important area that we didn't mention much. But when you talk about uh, inequalities in Bangkok or in, even in Thailand, I think the two areas that we have to address seriously is uh, education and healthcare. And for us, education, uh, BMA, we are responsible for mostly primary schools. We have 437 schools, and we take care of uh, 250,000 students in Bangkok. So I think uh, if we can uh, make the education better for these kids, it will be uh, better for the future, and also reducing the inequality um, a lot. I think when you talk about smart city, right, we talk about smart city a lot. It doesn't mean that we have an autonomous car driving in the street. When you think it means that we use proper technology to improve productivity for the city, and you think to improve the quality of education would be one of the most fundamental for smart cities. Right? I mean, if we, our kids cannot access to the proper technology, I don't think we become smart city without smart citizens. And I think so we start the program, right? So I mean, uh, right now we install the computer uh, library in every school that we have. Right? But I think we try to initiate, we call more like active learning. Right? Usually if you are in high school, you know that we are more active, right? You come down and you sit down, uh, take whatever the teacher said, to take a note, go back, take some homework. But uh, with a new type of the, like Google Classroom, you become more active learning and then I think it's very very I mean uh, could some of you tell you more about uh, what success we have. But I think we have to be sure that uh, what we done is right so we do some prototype first so we don't do like every two at one time so we do some prototype and then I think the first year is very successful. So this year will be the year of the scaling. But how are we gonna scale it, right? I mean the the hardware is one thing and I think the software I mean teacher and curriculum is also important. And also, but I mean, to, to get the computer to the student, right? I mean, we, we aim at maybe like 200,000 uh, machines. Can we buy it? Yeah, we can buy it. And then we have budget. We have budget about 90 million baht every year. But to buy, uh, maybe, I, I think, as I said, we have a lot of uh, electronic waste in Thailand. But the, the student doesn't need very high quality of the notebook, right? It's like a terminal for them, and you can use like file and resources, so it's more like a terminal. So you don't need high CPU, or maybe even hard disk. So I think there will, uh, the target of getting donation from uh, the people, I think one thing is to reduce the electronic request, right? Now we have like 400,000 times per year. But the other thing is, I think it's a very important issue that we always say about how we can improve the society, how we can get involved, right? And I think this one we can, uh, can bring people to join the program. I think we bring value and recognition to the problem we have. Buying is easy, but to get people involved is another step that we can really have a fruitful impact. So I told Busan known that if we can initiate this program, I think the people who donate, not only give them the computer to run, but they will understand the problem. And we keep in touch with them, tell them what this computer has been used for, what the students feel, and in the future, I think the, 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 the one who donate might get involved more with uh, like become a mentor or visit the school, visit the student. I think that theory has more impact than buying. Right? So I think it get people involved to see the progress, to see that they really help uh, improve or uh, reducing the inequality in Bangkok would be another dimension that much more important than just buying computer and give to the kids. So I think there are some impact on this. And also we will, tell you the progress of the student that received the computer from the one who donated. Right? And I think I went to the, the school, you know, and it's, it's amazing. The kids were so happy to see. But I think maybe we have to learn how to do the type, type, typing first. Because sometimes it's a little bit slow to do the typing and also have to improve the Wi-Fi. But I think it really shared the way uh, they interact. And not only the student, but the teacher also need to share. But with this, I'm, I'm sure that uh, with proper prototype, time, the scaling can be quick, and you can see change. And I see, you will see big improvement for the new generation. And I'm sure that with this uh, tool, with this program, you see the reducing in inequality. Because once we have better education, 
you'll be better than your parents. And with a few cycles, you see the reducing so. So thank you very much for coming. I hope the this program will go ahead as planned. Maybe this year we plan like 2000 only, right? So I think this can be reached uh, quite quickly. But we see the more like a good city for Thank you very much. Thank you. It's my great honor to be here. I think it's my second time here. Uh, after several months, we bring a teacher from Tadion in the office, uh, in the Google office as well. And my uh, great honor to represent the student of BMA. I think it's a great opportunity for, for them and we can improve a lot after this initiative. So um, I, I would like to start with this slide. Um, actually, as the governor, uh, governor mentioned that we, why we, uh, don't do like for the 100% first. We want to like pilot first and see the, the impact. So last year is our first year. So um, I think we met the Google team uh, end of the year and then we select one school. But uh, typically we will select the best school, you know, to implement. But if we select best school, we cannot scale. So we uh, instead of best school, we select the school that uh, perform very normal and they can represent the entire school in Bangkok. So we select Tiny Yong Sokro and then uh, we have like a uh, device, uh, one student, one device. Uh, and then we implement to seven subjects. You can see mathematics, uh, history, science, Thai, English, computer and music. And not only the device, but we need to implement the, the training as well. So we do the training with the teacher. Uh, we uh, do the content developing the content together with the teacher to ensure that uh, everything is not revised but how you, how you teach, the pedagogy that you want to teach to the, uh, the student what you're going to do. Uh, and then we evaluate uh, from one semester. Uh, you can see um, it's not only the, 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 the student, you can see the, we compare one classroom with the typical uh, passive mm -hmm. classroom with a Google classroom. Uh, the blue color is the, the score that you get higher. Uh, so I think it's quite significant in mathematics. <laughs> and uh, uh, that you can, you know, calculate something or you can learn very quick. Yeah, and then the, I think the teacher, the teacher is, uh, is a real challenge. After we, we got the, uh, the, the, the assessment from the first semester, so uh, I think professional development for teachers is quite uh, significant that we need to do it more. So here, actually, I, I saw a lot of video clips that the student will say something. At least uh, what they say is really fun, and I might use it again. This will make me better using computer and typing faster. So I think it's not only you know one subject. But you, they can learn computer subject in every class. So it's, uh, another uh, impact that we've got. So after Tiny Yong, when we see the result, uh, I talk with Google, I talk with uh, the department that we need to scale in our second year. So we develop the, the website to update the status that we uh, want uh, engagement from everyone. That uh, if you have an email, you have notebook, laptop, or one we can implement and uh, use the Google technology to uh, develop as a new laptop for the student. So we call it Thai Kom Gao Su Phun Mai, which just means like donate for the student. Yeah. So coming to the target, you know, 130,000 is like, it's a very big number, but um, why? Why 130,000? Uh, because um, we want to implement in uh, grade 4, which is Patong, Suisa, uh, BTC, and Matayong 1, which is 7th uh, uh, grade. And then when they go up, they're going to be 5th grade and 8th grade. So we ensure that you know the computer will implement to everyone. And uh, after 4 years, we would like to implement, after 3 years, so 4, 5, 6, uh, all the all the students will get uh, all, the, all the laptops and devices. So that is the target why we need uh, 130,000 devices. Um, 
So I think in normal circumstance, they, they're going to manage in the classroom. But with, uh, if we have new pandemic or whatever, so the, the student can be at home and then she can use it at home as well. Yeah, so last slide. I, we have target and we want engagement from everyone uh, to get reach to the target. Um, uh, going to the website, right now we have 70 laptops and I believe that uh, after today we're going to get more. Thank you. Thank you so much.